Hello everybody, Volcanelli here, and this is another edition of Drawing the Anime Season Winter 2020 edition. So, like last time in the last video, I'm going to draw all the noteworthy anime of Winter 2020. Well, in this video, it includes five anime. Well, I did watch more, but I just picked the ones that I found the most interesting. Also, I'm just lazy, so there's that. So the first one I'm drawing is um, Toilet Bomb Hanako-kun. I may be a fake fan, but at the time of this recording, I did not finish it yet. Um, at the drawing, I did really like it, so I did really want to draw Hanako, but <laughs> I'm school and stuff, and I'm just lazy, so. And I'm like, oh, the crazy time to approach, you know? I got kind of lazy. But I do plan on fishing, obviously. I mean, I like it a lot. I mean, I got the first volume of the manga at Barnes & Nobles, it's in my shelf right there. Um, I really, really, like, by, um, what attracted me to it was the art. I found it was really pretty. More prettier than the other anime I've watched. And yeah, it was really, really good. And I'll probably have more to say once I actually finish it. But, hey, I just really want to make this video since, um, the spring 2020, uh, season is here. And, uh, I kind of need to catch up so I can make another one of these. <laughs> So, um, the program I use is, uh, MediaBank Pro. Um, uh, I, in the previous video, I used Fire Alpaca, uh, damn it, not this again, Fire Alpaca. So, and I was really used to it, and I really liked it, but, um, I saw one of my good artist friends, um, I'll put their Instagram down, just because I think they're a really good artist, and I think they deserve a lot of love. Um, name's Mishi Piku. Um, I will put it in the description because I actually really, really like her art. And she's very talented. She's, if, if we're in the anime video, um, she's my senpai. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, put her thing below because, um, she used Midi Bang Pro for some of her things. And I thought, well, wow, she could make things look good in Midi Bang and I couldn't. Well, maybe I could try. Maybe I could make my stuff look good. <laughs> it turns out, um. Nope. Each um, thing I did in Meaty Bang um, didn't turn out good. But when I turned back to Fire Alpaca, um, my drawings did look good. So I guess it's just that, um, just me used to it. So Fire Alpaca, uh, not damn it, not al Alpaca is just more used for me. So yeah. Because my drawing was really weird in this um, little recording I did. It's very weird looking. Um, I did the basic thing, do line art, do, and then put a layer underneath the line art to do coloring. I mean, I think that's what I did. <laughs> if I can't remember correctly, I, I took this recording a while ago. And, um, I am not really proud of this work, but, hey, you gotta post all your mistakes because how else are gonna learn from it? So, I do not really like how, um, this turned out. It's not the best thing, obviously. So, yeah, right here I'm just, uh, painting all the little orb things. I was just copying, um, can't really see it, but off in another window, I was, like, looking at references, trying to get it. I was trying to copy the anime style, but then I chose to not do that just because I wanted it to be my look, and I knew it wouldn't look good <laughs> the way I was drawing it, because the way I'm drawing is really bad. So, yeah, um... I think I'm just doing some final shading and like so shading like highlights and all that stuff. Um, I actually, my, the way I do things now is like a little bit different since I kind of learned, um, from different things. How to do some drawing stuff. So, yeah, there's that. A, um, a big tip for beginner artists, use references because references make your art look good. It's really good. So, and I did that for a couple drawings that you, that aren't here, but are posted on my Twitter and, inst and art Instagram. I have a cosplay and art, so I'll post some of these on my art Instagram. I don't, not my Hanukkah one, just because I think I lost it. <laughs> I don't know where it is in my f computer, so no. So I'm just doing some final touches to make it look actually interesting. Moving it, blah, 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 blah trying to make it look interesting and stuff. Use some Japanese because I'm thinking Japanese, so I thought, hey, why not practice? Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. And then I put my little jelly 
fish signature and that's that. So the next anime I want to talk about is Asteroid in Love. And when I first saw this, it was really really cute. I thought it was gonna- I thought it was adorable, just adorable. It was a cute little thing. And I actually really liked it. It's a- it's a slice of life. Um, it talks about, um, a girl meeting- I forgot her name. Shoot. I'm bad at memory names. I'm sorry. I don't know the main character's name. Shoot, what's her name? I know the- the person she meets is Aoi. Right? <laughs> I don't know if I'm right or not. Um, so they meet when they were little and they wanted- and they saw an asteroid. But the main character- was like, oh, I have an asteroid named after me, after me. And Aoi was like, I don't. So they made a promise when they're older, they get when they see an asteroid, they'll name it after her. So then when they go to high school, they join the astronomy club, which is which is the earth and science club, since the geology club and the astronomy club have very little members, so they just um, combined it to... <coughs> Sorry. You know, save space. I don't know. And then they then they just learn about stuff and it's just really cute it's basically cute girls doing cute things and i thought it was really cute it's like i have to watch my 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 serving of cute girls doing cute things i'm sorry just cute girls are just <laughs> so yeah um i basically just wanted to draw um them looking at the sky and seeing an asteroid um this was really weird for me because like i was just doing the back of them which i never done before and i was referencing a lot off screen and trying to look at the uniforms which was weird just because the anime and the manga have slight little differences on what um the uniforms look like like is there a stripe or is there not so yeah um this one was kind of interesting too just because i got to play with lighting and just the backs and just do something i never done i mean the drawing looks good when you look at it far away i'll just say that <laughs> so yeah i guess it with this drawing i did kind of do good i'm not 100 percent sure but it's decent <laughs> so i just work on aoi just i'll do it again on the shading and stuff and i also was really focused on the silhouette just because i know that would be the most prominent thing because there would be the there would be a focus out of the darker background which I do make do eventually um, put um, another the a color with lighter opacity over it over them so it would like have like a nice little color to them and just yeah so here I'm just working on the characters working on their arms and stuff oh my god now that I see this I see that it's so bad oh my okay that shoe was nice but that's it trying to do different things trying to um, replicate what they from the, the <laughs> I don't know what to say when they were kids to when they're adults it's not adults it's still little high schoolers so yeah, and then I was on the background trying to be all nice trying to be kind of like artistic <laughs> and then I work on the the background which um I do not know how to do scenery I was just kind of going with the flow just kind of just using the paint tool just kind of blending and stuff which <laughs> don't rely on the blend tool to be your friend it is really not it is really not your friend it's only your friend if you want to do small little blending but if it's big don't trust it, it, it it's not really worth it so i was just testing like with a lot of color a lot of like tools like what the hell am i doing and then i realized and i was just referencing um the pictures from the anime just kind of blending and stuff blah 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 and every time I tried to use the blur tool, it wouldn't work and it would just freeze up everything. So I just kind of gave up on that. I just kind of just sh try to make, make it work and stuff using a little, um, I don't know, sparkle tool? Like it was a sparkle tool. And I was trying to play with that, playing with it so it actually looked like stars and stuff. I got kind of a decent look out of it. It's just with that, with that like purple mass in the middle of it was just looking really weird. And I was just trying to draw the asteroid and then combine them. I combined them and then I did some light stuff, you know, to be 
interesting and uh yeah i mean it looks really good actually that looks pretty good i have anything to make it look more in tune i have the jellyfish sig signature and we're done yeah so the next time i didn't actually speed it up just because i <laughs> it was a joke <laughs> so the next anime we're talking about is um Ishu Soko reviewers or inner species reviewers. You know that one anime that was gonna be subbed but dubbed by Funimation, but then they saw it and was like, yeah, this is a borderline hentai, so <laughs> no. <laughs> Which it technically is. They just like they show boobs and stuff, but they don't show vagina or penis. They blur it out. Not not like pixelated, but like they just put like a like like a white thing over it so you know it's not there or they cover it up um nicely so this isn't sped up i'm basically just drawing it like this because it was like a joke i wasn't really gonna draw boobs i mean i did but it was a joke thing i didn't really want to pay too much time in a way just because it, it, yeah so here's my boy Z what's his name Zeku Z Zing Zing Z Z. See, his name started with a Z. And I just drew him real quick, just because I didn't think he needed that much time. I just drew him being all sleazy. A little cute little sleazy boy. Sleazy elf boy. Sleazy cougar loving boy. That's just who he is. He's a cougar loving boy. God, I just. And then I work on boobs, because boobs. That was just. It was just in the show like there were a lot of boobs in there there was some small boobs there was some big boobs so i just drew a pair of boobs to really fit in the uh, yeah they don't really look like boobs depending on how you look at it it can look like a knees boobs butt a bird you know the stuff oh hey there's boobs eh. and then you see that my mistake uh, i didn't erase and i you see the i didn't erase uh the the under sketch and then i realized i don't know if i realized it yet but i think I, I think i already did i was just like screw it just because you know it's a joke i didn't really pay that much attention to it so yeah i just then here i just drew a butt yeah that's basically it i, I drew a butt i drew the butt i drew the butt i tried to draw a little cooch in there but i don't know if i wanted to do that did I do that? I don't remember. <laughs> I drew a little cute. And that's when I- Oh, never mind. That's when I added a little bit of highlight. Huh. Little rosy cheeks. When did I realize that, um, I couldn't delete the- the under? That's when- <laughs> That's when I realized I couldn't erase. That's when I realized I made a mistake, and I made that mistake before, and I didn't, we'll do it again, because I'm dumb, and it is how it be, and I think I'll move on to the next one after this, just because it was really short, and I gave up on it, because <laughs> it's a joke, I shouldn't care about a joke, so yeah, I think that's it, I don't care for <laughs> much anymore, <laughs> so I was gonna spend time actually caring, and I just wrote nice. And that was it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> and next, we have um, Keep Your Hands Off Izoken. Keep Your Hands Off Izoken. That's the name of the anime, which I think translates to Keep Your Hands Off the Animation Club. I mean, I think. So it's basically about a bunch of girls trying to make an anime. And they just do their high wacky hijinks. And yeah. And then, um, so I just wanted to draw Kanamori. Just, she's basically like, she likes the idea. She's more like the manager of it since she isn't doing the thing. She isn't like drawing or anything, but she's like the manager. She like, she keeps um, everyone on track and stuff. So I, I wanted to do a draw of the opening, like easy, breezy, the, the, where you see all the. Like all the girls doing the da 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 Yeah, they're doing the poses. So I wanted to draw that just because eh, I wanted to try it. I also wanted to also like the different um, color outlines. 
Oh. <laughs> Get up working on it. Oh, I worked on these on the same time. So, to get things done. So I just basically drew that. Just basically try to copy the opening because I just thought it was pretty snazzy. I like the song. Easy, breezy, da 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 <laughs> So yeah, I basically just did try to copy, do what they did. I tried to keep my own style in it. Then I realized I was just blatantly copying. So I just be like, eh, hey, well, I just admit it and just go on with my day. Then I just kind of keep doing stuff in there, doing the eyebrows, doing everything, just, just doing everything, just doing everything. Um, with the anime, it was cute. I really liked it. I I really like the little flowing animation. Like flowing animation really gets me and really stylized animation. Because if like if you really focus on one thing and really perfect it, perfect the movement. Oh my god, it makes me nut. Just so good. So yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, there's not much doing here. Just shading and stuff. Filling in. Trying to get the perfect skin color and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have any less than less to say as these times go, just because it's, it's really late at night and I just thought, why not do it? It seems like a fun time here. So here, here, let me give a little impression of kind of more if there was a dub. Huh? What do you guys think you're doing? This is no time to be slacking off. You're three days behind schedule and you still haven't got anything done. Ugh, I don't know what else to say as her. And then, yeah. I may be about the money, but hey, if this actually gets done, we'll have more money. So. <laughs> I don't know what I said right there. So yeah, there was that. And I just continued drawing and drawing and drawing. Doing the thing. Doing some little stuff with my pick there. So, yeah. I mean, I want to... Then, then, I, then uh, that brings me to the, the topic of voice acting. I do want to do it. I find it really fun to do. Mm -hmm. And I hope I can do some voice acting in the future just because I, find, I actually find it really, really fun. And when I see um, really good voice acting, I get really excited to see because I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. What if I could do that? And then I get excited thinking about that. And I'm just like, oh my god, this is so much fun. So yeah, voice acting is really fun. And I really hope I can do it. I, ha I don't have a lot of ranges though. It's just, the what am I doing here? Did I finish? Oh no, I just went on to a different program to do the polka dot um, brush just because the mini bang didn't have it and I and I wanted and I wanted it to do it. And I wanted to do it. <laughs> there was that and then I just wanted to do the little polka dot thing. And then yeah. That was pretty cool. I just kinda was playing with that. Oh, and I gave her a little flush of color on there, and uh, yeah, just did that. And then I combined it together, give it a little, give it my gel with its signature, and well, bam, we're done with this one. I think so. Yeah. So next, um, the last um thing I'm gonna talk about is um haikyuu season four so i really really liked haikyuu i binged it really quickly um like i watched season one season two on netflix and then i, I watched it really quick and then i watched season three which i was like focused all all the time on focused really big on watching it trying to finish it and stuff and then i was trying to, now <laughs> i'm afraid to admit it but i haven't finished season four i'm sorry but i really like it i really like kanada i think he's really cute um, I really like Nishinoya, he's also really cute, um, what other boy, Suyama is pretty cute, um, uh, yeah, like, Tanaka, like, I like him, cause his personality is, like, Ryuji from Persona 5, and I love me some Ryuji, he is best boy, so I like his personality, cause his personality was similar to Tanaka's personality, it's really similar to Ryuji's, but just, did he didn't look, Tanaka doesn't look cute, Ryuji looks cute. 
That's all. <laughs> so yeah, so here I wanted to go for a more softer look for it, so I used like a soft brown for it. And I wanted to do um, his spike. Now it's really, his, how it's really good, how his spike is, you know, he's really fast. He wants to be like the tiny giant and stuff. Alright, what Haikyuu's about. Um, basically about, about, some, about dudes doing volleyball. Because what's better than guys being dudes. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't do much here. I was just trying to do the pose and stuff. Then got there pretty decent and stuff. And yeah. Um, the, not really much else to discuss here. Yeah, just just filling in color, filling in. I don't know what. All right, I switched back to Fire Alpaca for this one because I knew I was doing good and like I was doing better with this and stuff. So yeah. Uh, so I very like the idea of using um doing line art and then doing uh the line art and color separate and then filling um the colors is in own layer so I don't get like those harsh rectangles those harsh squares around it and it makes it look nicer and the line art covers the harsh um long squares so there's that so yeah I'm just and uh, I use the select tool a lot just because it makes things not as messy and yeah we just that um Fix the eye, and then I, I want to do more of a softer shade, shade, just because I wanted to look. I thought, yeah, maybe you could need it. Maybe it could look good and stuff. And yeah, the shading. Um, I go from you know the same similar color parts first. I did the arms first, so I wouldn't have uh, a different color each time because that would just look weird. So I just did shading like that. Whoa, I'm tired. I'm gonna do this. Um, do some quick little um tinkering. What's the what's the word for um the little twinks? Not twinks. Is it twinks? Little twicks. Little tweaks. Little tweaks. Not twinks. Tweaks. <laughs> and I wanted to say tweaks, but then I thought twink. <laughs> oh my god. So a little tweaks to them the little editing here little video here and then yeah I just watch some anime watch some random videos on the YouTubes and yeah so here I'm just doing more shading and stuff blah 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 blah, blah. did that fixing some stuff trying to make it look in the eye I have a minute left oh my god I didn't realize there's much to say Oh, and more and more. I actually liked how this turned out. It's not my best work, obviously, but hey, it's a different pose, and I really liked it. And this is where I give a wash of color, um, and I wanted to make it look like a light was being um, flashed down. But with another layer, I put a little bit of that orange on in the corner to make it look like that. And then I drew crow feathers because I was trying to replicate um, some of the screenshots in the anime where it looks like he has crow feathers or crow wings or crow feathers like coming out of him. I want to do some crow feathers. Um, I had I had a tough time um, drawing the crow feathers because yeah, they, they did, it differed from looking like a feather to looking like a leaf. And then I cheated and then I just wanted to duplicate layers because duplicate layers make it easy for you. So basically just drew the feathers and then I used um that's with a light opacity to kind of give that black thing so it look like so for all the feathers to fold in. I duplicate a layer, kinda of shift that so it looks like there's more feathers. Give my jelly 